To investigate resistance, you will need the resistance you intend to investigate, an ammeter to measure the current, a voltmeter to measure the voltage, the variable resistor, which is going to control the current as we vary it, a number of connecting leads, and a power supply. It's probably easier to set up first with no meters involved. So we need a series circuit with the resistor. We connect to the red and black connectors on the power supply to give direct current, DC. After connecting to the resistor, we will go through the variable resistor, which is going to help us control current by moving this slider. There are three connections, two at the bottom and one connected to this rod. You should connect the first to the one of the connectors on the bottom. The second lead will go into one of the connectors at the top and then it goes into the power supply. This is our basic circuit. Now we want to put the ammeter in to measure the current, so the ammeter must be connected in series. To do that we must break the circuit and connect the ammeter like this. Now we have a series circuit containing the ammeter. The voltmeter must be connected in parallel. So the voltmeter is being connected here in parallel with the resistor, the resistance of which we are measuring. The power supply, again remember we connect to the red and black, not the yellow, should be set on 2 volts. That is just giving us a rough indication of the voltage being supplied. It is not telling us the voltage. You must only get that by measuring from the voltmeter. So, we turn it on. We turn on the meters. And for example now, this is reading 0 0.20 amps. It's fiddling around a bit going 0 0.19, 0 0.20, but I'll call it 0 0.2. This one is reading the voltmeter, um, a reading of 0 0.97 volts, a bit of flicker, but I'm taking it as 0 0.97 volts. Those are my two readings for this setting. I can now adjust it by moving the variable resistor, also sometimes called a rheostat, and now I've got a reading here of 0 0.24 and 1.13. In this way, we can arrange to get a number of different readings, 0 0.26, 1.25, up to, siding this to the very end, I get a maximum of 0 0.45 and 2.15. To get a slightly better range, we can just click it up with the green, if you're using a green resistor or a blue resistor, it would be permissible to go onto the 4 volt setting as well, just to give you a slightly wider range. So we can go up to a maximum here, on this case of 3.8 volts and 0 0.8 amps. In that way you should aim to get 8 different measurements so you can plot a decent graph of voltage against current. When you've finished with one of the resistors, one of the colours, then you simply need to undo that and use another one and get another set of readings. Once those are recorded then you can plot a graph of current against voltage as you'll be instructed. If fully completed we can then go on to investigate the resistance of this light bulb. For that We'll remove the resistor and plug the light bulb in to the two ends where we just removed the resistor. This time we can control our outputs simply by using this, um, the settings on the power supply. So I'll put the variable resistor where it gives the maximum reading turn this on, I've got 0 0.75 amps, 1.8 volts. If I just go up in steps, that gives me 6 readings, um, going up to here to a maximum of 10.5 volts and 1.87 amps. It is possible to make sure you have more than 6 readings by using 
the variable resistor as well, perhaps at two settings on several of the supply settings on the way down. Some of the supplies have eight settings, so that would be enough.